In this video, we'll talk about vectorizing in Flexi, one of the most powerful tools Flexi has. All right, let's spend a little time on the vectorizing or tracing tools in Flexi. This is probably one of the most powerful features of Flexi. Uh, let's open up a couple of files here. First file we're going to open up is this one. This is a bitmap, as you can see, JPEG, kind of uh, low resolution. In fact, if you click on the image, it tells you it's about six by two or three, and the resolution is only 72 pixels per inch. So it's a pretty low resolution image. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. And we have many different ways to trace or vectorize uh, black and white and color images, and we'll show color in just a second. Those are found in the bitmap menu under vectorize, and these are all the different methods here, including some that we're not gonna show, uh, picture cut, uh, which is a uh, capability of taking a photograph, vectorizing it, and uh, being able to cut it out of vinyl. Interesting effect. Not used much these days, but it's definitely there if you need it. And centerline, which is action, centerline trace, which are actually vectorizing routines for uh, creating paths for uh, engravers. So we're not going to show those, but we'll show the major ones that most folks use. The first one we're going to show is auto trace. We're going to take a click on auto trace, and Design Central allows us to make some changes to consider the noise in the image, the corners, you know, what happens, how do you get square, sharp corners, uh, how much detail do you want, and several other options. Most, a lot of times, you can just select the graphic, as I'm going to do here, uh, and then it's going to trace it immediately. And let me show you what the result is, okay? I'll move the bitmap up a little bit, and there's the finished product right there, and it did an exceptional job. I mean, if you zoom in on parts of this, you can see it's got square corners, uh, it found some rectangles in here, and that's very reflective of what this graphic is doing. Even though it was rather jagged on the edges like that, you can see in these areas here, like the feather and so forth, it still picked up some nice detail in that area. So that's a great example of auto trace. It's, a, it's an ability that uh, really gives you some uh, somewhat of control through some of the uh, sliders. You can do some smoothing and so forth or a lot of times you can just apply it and it's very rapid, very, very easy to use. Uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of this guy down here. Uh, just, I'm gonna use the same example here just to show you a different one. We're gonna go to the bitmap menu and choose vectorize. And this time I'm gonna go down here, there's enhanced curves and enhanced corners. And again, these are just different purposes. Enhanced corners, similar to what uh, auto trace is like, you've got uh, noise and corner detection and so forth. Uh, but it gives you some graphics to take a look at. So you can see how uh, the sliders, if you move it more to the right, it's going to give you a little uh, looser fit, and more to the left, more accuracy. So this is, again, some kind of smoothing here. We're just going to go ahead and click OK on that. You don't select the graphic. It just actually will vectorize it. And let's move the bitmap up again. And again, you see the results down here. Now, again, you can notice, uh, in this case, it actually rounded some of the corners here rather than squaring them up but it got all the detail and that was where the default settings so it may be that in this case you want to just go in here to your uh, enhanced corners and say okay I need those square corners so I'm gonna go over here and say I want more corners just move that over to the right like that and then when you click OK what it'll do is it'll start to find more and more corners in there right sharper corners here and there and again uh, in this case it's not finding this area right here so that that means you need a different method to get more accuracy. That's why we have these different methods for you. Uh, it works, and this may be satisfactory in many cases, but the idea is that we have many different methods here for vectorizing in, in, in Flexi to accommodate the kind of graphic that you're working on. Take, for example, uh, a black and white image that's pretty tough to work with. Here's a typical graphic, uh, very low resolution, very jagged edges, and so forth. So in this case, I wouldn't use auto trace. Auto trace would just simply uh, give me, uh, it will give me a result and, and I could, uh, could be, uh, I want to use this, but I notice it's, it's kind of squaring up some of the small pixel areas in here and I don't really like that. So this is one of those circumstances where you might want to use uh, vectorize and choose a Bezier. Bezier is a, uh, no uh, particular uh, smoothing effects, it's all done internally. Uh, with the um, internal mathematics of Bezier, but watch what happens here. I'm just going to click on that and it's going to trace my image and I'll move my bitmap over and you can see it did a great job. Picked up all the detail, uh, put these in actual curve form instead of squares. Let me go to a wireframe so you can see this. 
and it doesn't use a lot of points. I mean, when you zoom in like that, and you can see it's a smooth bezier type finish in here. So that limits the amount of editing that you need to do with the graphic too. So low resolution images like that we accommodate. So we, we can accommodate fairly decent images like the arrow that we showed you or very bad images like this. But what about uh, color vectorizing? Let's open up a file here that I think you'll uh, appreciate. Uh, here's just a, a logo, a Mountain Dew logo. This is a bitmap. It's a pretty large bitmap actually, but it's, uh, it's only 71 pixels per inch. So again, I'm going to back up a little bit on this so you can see this. And I'm going to make two copies of this because I'm going to do it in two different ways, okay? There we go. So let's start with this guy up here. The, on the left over here, I'm going to go to bitmap and I'm going to choose vectorize and we're going to choose color trace. So what color trace does is color trace allows you to choose the number of points. And, and basically what I do is I just highlight the graphic like this, you know, so that shows you what it's going to trace. And what it does is it typically will show you what's that going to be in three colors or four colors. You just start choosing the colors here and you can see four colors is the appropriate choice for this. And that right uh, tab over here allows you to set those settings again, noise and corners and so forth. It's kind of like auto trace, but it's for color. Once everything looks right, click the check mark here. It will vectorize it. I'm going to actually get the bitmap out of the way. That's the bitmap on the right and you can see that is actually the finished product right there. So it's actually given you a very, very good rendering of the original right here. Very, very nicely done. Okay, so let's delete that one. We'll go to the bitmap down here and we'll use a different method. We'll go to bitmap and vectorize and we also have color. Color down here on the bottom is kind of the equivalent of, of Bezier. So you click on color over here and what I like about this version is uh, you can actually do one, two, three steps here. So literally you can go to manual here and say I want to I want to vectorize uh, the color uh, dark green, light green, uh, white, and red. So you're actually picking the colors manually if you want to do that. That's kind of nice. You can posterize this so you sort of get a preview of the colors that you've picked. You can merge colors if some are very close to one another and then just vectorize it. And basically uh, that is actually done. This is now go to wireframe. Again, you can see that's done just like the one above it. So the idea is that I have two different methods here for vectorizing. Both of them work exceptionally well. You can see over here I've got nice sharp corners and so forth. And if I go down to this version down here, again, they're a little tiny rounded on the edges right there, which might actually be easier to weed. But again, you can choose the method that you want to use for color tracing. So you have a, a program here that in, as far as uh, vectorizing and tracing, lots of different uh, capabilities are included. Just simply uh, open up that bitmap, uh, use a black auto trace or a Bezier or enhanced corners, enhanced curves for uh, black and white artwork. Or if you're doing uh, logos and that sort of thing, choose color trace or color depending on your need. And you're gonna have a very powerful tool in your hand. That's vectorizing and tracing in Flexi. Guess what? It's just that easy with Flexi.